Добрый день, дорогие друзья! Итак, мы продолжаем с вами изучать английский язык по вашим учебникам Action. Восьмой модуль. Откройте, пожалуйста, ваш Students Book на странице 106. Итак, сегодня мы будем заниматься чтением текста и попытаемся его понять. Окей. Okay. Culture Corner. Exercise one. What do you know about NASA? Uh, what do the acronyms NASA and ISS stand for? Think of two questions about NASA. Итак, а что вы знаете о NASA? Uh, что обозначает аббревиатура NASA и um, ISS? Придумайте два вопроса о НАСА. Окей, итак. Listen and read the text. Can you answer your questions? Послушайте и прочитайте текст. И сможете ли вы теперь ответить на данные вопросы? Окей, итак. Для того, чтобы вы послушали текст, пожалуйста, я включаю аудио. NASA – Reaching for the Stars NASA, the United States National Aeronautics and Space Administration Agency, was created in the 1950s. Its mission was to lead the way in the exploration of space, both near Earth and beyond it, and in particular, to transport people to the Moon and back by the end of the 1960s. This ambition of President John F. Kennedy's was, of course, achieved in 1969. In fact, 12 astronauts walked on the Moon during a number of missions between then and 1972. NASA is divided into four departments. The Aeronautics Research Division is concerned with improving transport into and through space. The Space Technology Department develops hardware, software and machinery to improve space exploration. The Human Exploration and Operations Department oversees activity that involves people, including missions to the International Space Station ISS, which is in orbit around Earth constantly. Finally, the Science Division helps to further understanding of the universe, including the Earth, which it studies by satellite. This division also includes the Office of Planetary Protection, and one of this office's responsibilities is defending the Earth from hostile aliens. NASA launches spacecraft from Cape Canaveral in Florida, which was chosen for its southerly position. Because the state of Florida is closer to the equator than most other U.S. states, NASA rockets get maximum help from the rotation of the planet when they take off for space. However, NASA astronauts who are sent to the ISS now begin their journeys in Kazakhstan, as the U.S. brought its space shuttle program to an end in 2011. ISS missions now begin and end at the Baikonur Cosmodrome near Tayuratam in southern Kazakhstan. This is the very same location from which Yuri Gagarin, the first man to go to space, began his journey back in 1961. Asteroid Equator Hardware Mission Orbit Rotation Reaching for the stars. NASA, the
the United States National Aeronautics and Space Administration Agency was created in the 1950s. Its mission was to lead the way in the exploration of space both near Earth and beyond it, and in particular to transport people to the moon and back by the end of the 1960s. This ambition of President John F. Kennedy's was of course achieved in 1969. In fact, 12 astronauts walked on the moon during a number of missions between then and 1972. NASA is divided into four departments. The Aeronautics Research Division is concerned with improving transport into and through space. The Space Technology Department develops hardware, software and machinery to improve space exploration. The Human Exploration and Operations Department oversees activity that involves people including missions to the International Space Station, which is in orbit around Earth constantly. Finally, the Science Division helps to further understanding of the universe, including the Earth, which it studies by satellite. This division also includes the Office of Planetary Protection, and one of this office's responsibilities is defending the Earth from hostile aliens. NASA launches spacecraft from Cape Canaveral in Florida, which was chosen for its southerly position. Because the state of Florida is closer to the equator than most other US states, NASA rockets get maximum help from the rotation of the planet when they take off for space. However, NASA astronauts who are sent to the ISS now begin their journeys in Kazakhstan as the US brought its space shuttle program to an end in 2011. ISS missions now begin and end at the Baikonur Cosmodrome near Tayuratan in southern Kazakhstan. This is the same location from which Yuri Gagarin, the first man to go to space, began his journey back in 1961. Okay, I hope this video will help you to get out of this text and understand what is going on. Okay, so we will continue with you. Okay, so let's see. Can you answer your questions? Did you know, Mr. Did you know? If you're interested in observing the International Space Station, you can ask NASA to send you an email or text message alert when it passes over where you live. When was NASA set up? In the 1950s. When did the ISS go into space? This question is not answered in the text. NASA made a lot of money from its early achievements. NASA заработал много денег с более ранних ее достижений. Окей, об этом, по-моему, не сказано в тексте, doesn't say. Не забывайте, пожалуйста, выполнять задание самостоятельно, потом сверяться с моими ответами. Astronauts first worked on the moon in 1972. Uh, uh, false. The ISA uh, constantly travels around the Earth. Итак, uh, Международная космическая станция International Space Station постоянно путешествует вокруг Земли. It's true. One uh, NASA department is protect the planet from alien invasions. Одна из 
Один из отделов НАСА защищает планету от вторжения инопланетян. It's true. Number five trips to the ISS launch from Florida. Итак, путешествие на космическую международную космическую станцию запускается из Флорид, из Флориды. Это неправда. It's false. The USA Space Shuttle program ended due to a lack of money. Итак, американская космическая программа Шаттл закончилась из-за отсутствия денег. Об этом в тексте не сказано. Doesn't say. Окей, давайте чек. Так, у нас все получилось верно. Надеюсь, у вас тоже все получается. Access free fill. Вам нужно дополнить пропуски данными словами, чтобы получились фразы. Так, the first one. Exploration of space. Исследование космоса. Uh, human exploration and uh, operations department. Uh, исследование человека и операционный отдел. Number three, science division. Uh, научный отдел. Space technology department. Отдел космических технологий. Office of planetary protection. Офис защиты планеты. Uh, Aeronautics Research Division. Отдел аэронавтики. Окей, okay, чек. Exploration of space. Human Exploration and Operations Department. Science Division. Space Technology Department. Office of Planetary Protection. Aeronautics Research Division. Итак, у нас все получилось. Замечательно. Если вы сомневаетесь, правильно ли вы сделали, или недостаточно чего-то материала, можете сделать еще раз. Мы же продолжаем. Access 3. Use the completed phrases to talk about NASA. Вам нужно использовать сформированные фразы для того, чтобы рассказать немного о нас. Давайте послушаем, как это можно сделать. Образцовый ответ. NASA has four departments. The Aeronautics Research Division concerns itself with transport to and through space. The Space Technology Department concerns itself with developing technology for the exploration in space. The Human Exploration and Operations Department oversees activities involving missions to the International Space Station. The Science Division studies the universe, including the Earth. This division includes the Office of Planetary Protection, which protects the Earth from an alien invasion. Okay. What are the class three things that impressed you from the text? Расскажи классу, ну, и родителям, три вещи, которые впечатлили тебя из текста. Как можно ответить на этот вопрос? I thought it was impressive that NASA was created in the 1950s. I thought it was impressive that there is an Office of Planetary Protection, which protects the Earth from alien invasions. I also thought it was impressive that missions to the ISS launch from the Baikonur Cosmodrome, Tyrodotem, Kazakhstan. Okay, and exercise five. When you do find out more information about the ba Baikonur Cosmodrome near Tyrodotem, present information to the text to the class. Итак, найдите больше информации. Про станцию Байконур и э, презентуйте эту информацию классу. Вы можете это сделать э, дома, э, презентовать, либо записать презентацию и сбросить мне. Окей. Окей, once again, what's Asteroid. Equator. Hardware. Mission. Orbit. Rotation. Okay. Итак, 
Так, мы же продолжаем с вами. И, пожалуйста, переходим к следующей странице. 107. Итак, Curritual Literature. Теперь мы коснемся немного литературы. Exercise 1. The picture shows some trifids. What do you know about the book The Day of the Trifids? Listen to find out. Okay, let's listen. The Day of the Triffids is a science fiction novel written in 1951 by John Wyndham, 1903-1969. He was a British author and this book established him as an important writer and remains his most famous novel. In this book, the Triffids are tall plants with legs that seem intelligent but are aggressive and attack mankind with their poisonous stings. The book has been adapted for TV twice and was also made into a film. Окей, так вы прослушали аудиозапись. Я надеюсь, что она вам была понятна. Если что-то не ясно, мы с вами сейчас выясним это, посмотрев видео. Итак, есть. The Day of the Triffids. John Wyndham. The Day of the Triffids is a 1951 novel by the English science fiction author John Wyndham. It is about a plague of blindness that befalls the entire world, allowing the rise of an aggressive species of plant. Bill Mason is a biologist who made his living working with triffids, tall, venomous, carnivorous plants that can move and communicate. The story begins with Bill Mason in hospital, his eyes bandaged after having been splashed with triffid poison. While he is recovering, there is a green meteor shower. Everyone who watched it went completely blind. After unbandaging his eyes, he wanders through London, which is full of blind people. He meets Gisela Platon, and together they discover a group of sighted survivors led by a man named Beadley, and they decide to join the group. Bill and Gisela are later kidnapped. They are each chained to a blind person to work as their guides. Bill manages to escape from his captors and tries to find Gisela. After some days, he finds her at a country home. They are then joined by a young sighted girl named Susan. Along with other refugees, some of them blind, they attempt to establish a self-sufficient colony. Years pass until they find out another colony has been established on the Isle of Wight. Mason and his followers don't want to leave their own colony but decide to do so because they feel threatened by the soldiers of a new government. They flee to the Isle of Wight, determined to one day destroy the Triffids and reclaim Earth. Okay, I hope this text will be more clear. Итак, let's do next. Итак, check this box. Irritably. Trap. Trap. Settle down. Hedge. Doubt. Doubt. Alertness. Lane. Slashing sting. Wipe. Break in. Whip up. Smack. 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 
flamethrower. Outhouse. Wire. Hack. Hack. Unharmed. Enclosure. Enclosure. Account. Account for. Account for. Alertness. Break in. Doubt. Enclosure. Flamethrower. Hack. Hedge. Irritably. Lane. Mist. Outhouse. Settle down. Slashing sting. Smack. Trap. Unharmed. Whip. Wipe. Wipe. Wire. Exercise to read the text for each gap uh, from 1 to 7. Choose from the sentences uh, from, H to A, it's from, from A to H the one that best completes each gap. There is one extra sentence. Итак, вам нужно скомпоновать uh, предложение uh, и цифра. Одно у вас будет предложение лишнее. Итак, the first one, I think it is H. The just lines. The second E, they didn't try anything or do anything there. Number three A, she released the sound not to be so well and turned on the light. Number four C, I cross the bedroom on tiptoe and pull the window shut shortly. Number five F, I took no risk when I went to fetch them. Number six, D, it missed it, the glues, and the first thing I did in the outhouse was to wash it off my face. And number seven, G. Four months later, they broke it again. Okay, let's check. Так, у нас все получилось верно. Итак, вы можете свериться с текстом. И мы же продолжаем с вами выполнять задание. This is free. Match the words in bold in the text with their meanings. Вам теперь нужно соединить слова в жирным шрифтом в тексте с их значением. Okay, let's continue. Uh, the front part of your foot. Итак, uh, лицевая часть вашей ноги. This tiptoe. Цыпочки, что мы называем, да? Кончики пальцев. Uh, hit sharply. Uh, бить, uh, бить сильно, резко. Just smacked. Лопнуть. Invaders. Just intruders. Да, захватчик, злоумышленник. It is the same. Uh, violently. Seriously. And the last one turned quickly. It is wriggled. Выгибаться, поворачиваться быстро. Okay, let's check. У нас все получилось. Я думаю, тоже вы с этим заданием справились легко. Exercise 4. Write the adjectives the author uses to describe the following. And check. Итак, по тексту работаете. О, давайте... Вы выполняете сейчас задание самостоятельно, потом сверитесь со мной. Так, the first one. Slashing stings. Number two. Gray sky. 
number three complete darkness here I never call me Tinata number four leather green leaves closing number six leather helmet number seven largest carving largest carving knife Большой режущий нож, нож, разделочный, большой разделочный нож. And fine spray, отличный расплит. Так, вот так у нас все получилось верно, думаю, что у вас все совпало. Просто работаем по тексту, все данные выражения есть в тексте. Okay, next exercise, exercise five, think. Listen and read the text. Imagine uh, you are in a car surrounded by a trifids. What can you hear and see? How do you feel to your partner? Итак, послушайте и прочитайте текст еще раз. Представьте, что вы в машине, окруженной, окруженной трифидцами. Что вы можете услышать и увидеть? Как вы себя чувствуете? Расскажите об этом. Okay. The Day of the Triffids by John Wyndham I wish, I told Susan irritably, you'd not keep on saying they hear. As if they were animals. They're not. They don't hear. They're just plants. All the same, they do hear somehow, Susan said. Well, anyway, we'll do something about them, I promised. As time went on, the numbers collected along the fence continued to increase in spite of our traps. They didn't try anything or do anything there. They simply settled down, wriggled their roots into the soil, and remained. At a distance, they looked as inactive as any other hedge. But if one doubted their alertness, it was only necessary to take a car down the lane. To do so, you had to battle through such viciously slashing stings that it was necessary to stop the car at the main road and wipe the windscreen clear of poison. Early one morning, Susan came running in to tell us that the things had broken in and were all around the house. The sky outside her bedroom window was grey, but when she went downstairs, she found everything there in complete darkness. She realised that should not be so, and turned on the light. The moment she saw leathery green leaves pressed against the windows, she guessed what had happened. I crossed the bedroom on tiptoe and pulled the window shut sharply. Even as it closed, a sting whipped up from below and smacked against the glass. We looked down on a group of triffids standing ten or twelve deep against the wall of the house. The flamethrowers were in one of the outhouses. I took no risks when I went to fetch them. In thick clothing and gloves, with a leather helmet and goggles under a wire mask, I hacked my way through the triffids with the largest carving knife I could find. The stings whipped and slapped at the wire mask so frequently that the poison began to come through in a fine spray. It misted the goggles, and the first thing I did in the outhouse was to wash it off my face. I didn't dare use a thrower more than once to clear my way back, for fear of setting the door and window frames on fire, but it moved them enough for me to get back unharmed. 
Two more days passed before Susan and I could be sure that we had searched every corner of the enclosure and accounted for the very last of the intruders. Four months later, they broke in again. I can see them all around the car, standing there silently. As the car moves, the leaves seem to cover the car and everything goes dark inside. I see the stings whip up and hear them smack against the windscreen. I feel frightened. Okay. Thank you very much. Be healthy. Goodbye.